Hey, today's movie review is on a 2014 movie called Locker 13. Um, I found it at the Dollar Tree, thought I would give it a try. Um, it sounded interesting. The biggest name that I recognized in it is Ricky Schroeder. It, it reminded me a lot of the old 80s show, Tales from the Dark Side. It was like a compilation of different, they call it thriller, drama, um, I guess suspenseful, figured out what's going on type, weird type little stories rolled into one movie. Um, and the, the, starts out with a, man that is starting a job that he is the night cleaning crew for a western base theme park um, and as the new employer is going around showing him his duties every little thing that he sees reminds him of a story and he tells this new employee um, all these weird stories that supposedly happened and they all involve a locker number 13 um, the first one was the one that Ricky Schroeder was in and I don't know her name but she starred in Fresh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air the little sister and I did not know that Ricky Schroeder and this girl now woman could be such horrible actors <coughs> um, the first one like I said, stars Ricky Schroeder. He's a soon-to-be washed-up boxer, and the uh, janitor at the gym hands him a, a set of gloves, and it kind of turns his career around, but in an odd, weird way. And that, that's the first story. The second story was an initiation into a men's lodge. Um... They're little short stories, so I don't want to tell you a lot about them because it would give the whole story away. The third is um, a man that's getting ready to jump off of a building, and up pops this mysterious man that not so much tries to talk him out of it. Um, the fourth story was about this man a hitman that was hired to kill this other man by either his wife, girlfriend, or secretary. So, that one was probably the best one. And then the, uh, I believe the fifth one was, oh my gosh, that's how memorable this movie is. I just watched it and I can't remember the fifth story. Oh well, must not be that important. But uh, in all these little stories are wrapped up together in one movie. It reminds me of the, like I said, the 80s um, Tales from the Dark Side or the Crypt Keeper or something like that, but not as good. And the ironic spin on this is a lot of the main characters in these short stories are from 80s sitcoms. <laughs> You'll notice them if you've watched a lot of 80s sitcom growing up. Um, my Pepsi on my keyboard. Uh, anyway, um, and the the backstory to the man showing the new employee, the new night cleaning guy, is a story itself. It turns out, which it was okay, but. Um, I don't think I'll watch it again. Uh, it wasn't that thrilling. It wasn't that dramatic. It was kind of cheesy. Um, bad acting. Not all bad acting, but most of it was bad acting. Um, I guess it was worth a dollar from the Dollar Tree. Uh, I would rate it probably a one out of five. Uh, which was kind of disappointing because... You know, it was about an hour and 40 minutes long. It's um, from 2014. It says it's rated R for violence, but 
I wouldn't let my kid watch it because she might be bored to death and be calling it cheesy. But anyway, uh, Locker 13, hour 40 minutes of, oh boy, bad acting, constant background music, which is annoying to me. I think they use, sometimes they use that to try to make it more interesting, which it doesn't work. But, um, that's my opinion of Locker 13. Watch it if you'd like, but I would not recommend it. Um, thank you. Have a good night or day. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.